welcome Ali Abdal. What's stopping me from doing more real life events? Nothing. Let's just do them. So now it's the thing that we're working towards for this year. Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the vlog. It is another day, and we are starting the day off with a little co-working session with the team. This is something that we're experimenting with for our, our productivity club, which is a product that we're going to be launching very soon. It's going to be like exercise classes or like CrossFit, but for your productivity. We're working through, we've got a Pomodoro timer set. They can see my little timer, and I'm playing background music here, which is this Lord of the Rings kind of ambience type thing. And what we're doing is we've created a little Google Doc. And in the Google Doc, everyone is writing down like what their, what their to-do list is, and then they'll be working through it. So we're experimenting with what is the ideal format of these kind of deep work co-working sessions so that when we get actual members into Productivity Club, then we'll have a bit more data on how to make those sessions like really good. Hey, Table. How are you doing? I'm doing well, here's your coffee. Oh, thanks for the coffee, that's very sweet. My job for the day for the day is to plan the next three videos, which we're hoping to film tomorrow and the day after. And then I've got a podcast today and then I'm giving a talk at this creator spaces thing to a hundred creators. And we're gonna be talking about YouTubing and creatories, entrepreneurial type stuff, and that's gonna be fun. But as you can tell from my voice, I've literally just woken up. But actually already this thing has doubled my productivity. That's the idea. Exercise classes, but for your productivity. Anyway, let's go. kicked out of the bedroom and I've now been put into the closet. <laughs> this is the closet. <laughs> Where they've got like the washing machine and the dryer and stuff. But the closet has also become a bit of a um, <laughs> call room because we often, we often have people working from here. We'll probably do like two point something million in profit this year. Why have you, why have you kicked me out and put me in the closet, table? So we got some, we got high, high priority calls that need to be done, I'm afraid. <laughs> So it is 10.45, that was super productive. Um, great chat with Inez and Tintin around this three part video series we're doing around how to know what you really want, how to figure out what, to, what you're doing with your life. Now I am gonna finish this up and then I pre-planned and I did my weekly review yesterday that I was gonna go to the gym in about 15 minutes. So I need to figure out, is that possible? Where's the nearest gym? Can I just rock up to a local gym and We'll take it from there. Okay, testing, testing. Hello, hello, hello. This is kind of what it sounds like when I'm speaking into this microphone. And let's see what, if anything, this does. We had a really good session this morning, um, two hour deep work session with the team. And the goal of these videos is to try and help people who feel a bit lost in life. This is something I hear a lot from students, especially, but also like when I give talks and things and do like online sessions and stuff, even like real adults have this thing where sometimes they feel lost or like they don't have a direction in life. And I've done a bunch of reading about this and applied a bunch of these methods to my own life. And so I kind of want to turn this into a series of videos. I don't just want to do one video, I want to do a series because I think there's actually quite a lot to explore here. And I think this, there's value in going deeper rather than staying shallow. There's literally a pneumatic drill that I'm about to walk through. So I'm going to stop talking because there's no way It's been a while since I've done this walk. This is actually where, this is the walk I used to do every day about two years ago when I first moved to London in 2021 and we had our office. Our office was literally down this road. That was the only time in the history of this business where we've had a dedicated office for a whole year. Objectively, kind of <laughs> a bit of a waste of money. It was super expensive and didn't really fulfill the purpose that I wanted it to fulfill. And then after a year, we got rid of that office and then I sort of converted my house into an office where we had a YouTube room and a podcast room. But it was kind of fun having the office life and having the team come in every day. And yeah, this was, this was my, my walk. I haven't been here in, in ages, nearly two years now. It's kind of cool. And it turns out there is a gym right here as well, which I, I think I noticed back then, but I wasn't a member. So I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Anyway, let's go. I want to know, Ali, what does live well, be well mean to you? There's a question I often think of, which is like, if I won the lottery, how much would it change about how I'm spending my time? Mm. And I want the answer to that question to be 
as close to nothing as possible. If I win the lottery and I wouldn't change a thing about how I spend my time, that means that I'm really living true to what I want to do rather than chasing money or status or fame or all those things. If I won the lottery, would I would I make videos about things I want to make videos about? Or would I make videos about things I want the algorithm that the algorithm will do well on? Probably I'd make videos about what I want to make videos about. If I won the lottery, would I continue to run online courses? Probably not. Oh shit. I'm running online courses at the moment. Okay, let's let's think about that. Let's like yeah. If I won the lottery, would I take care of my health? Yeah, of course I would. Okay, cool. <laughs> that that's good. And just that specific question of if I won the lottery, would I dot 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 helps me get to a place that I think kind of congregates on this idea of live well, be well. Alrighty, so just wrapped up an interview for the Live Well, Be Well podcast, which was super, super fun. And now we are heading south of the river to give a talk at the Creator Spaces event. Let's go. I want to build an audience as soon as possible is a terrible goal to have, personally. Just my two cents on this, because if, for example, you built an audience of like 13-year-old Pakistani kids with no money, there's no business you can build off the back of that. If you built an audience of like, uh, that, that was very small, but was C-suite executives working at banks in the UK and the US, there is a shit ton of money you can make from that. So I would say think about those things. What made you think, okay, it's time for me to put my thoughts onto paper and write a book? Yeah, okay. Um, anyone here do educational content? Okay, anyone here do entertainment content? Anyone here do a bit of both? Okay, it's mostly educational-ish type people. The thing I've been thinking about, like, pretty much from day one since starting my YouTube channel is what does the 5 to 10 plus year version of this look like? How do I ensure longevity? Now, back in- oh, that's always a dangerous sound. <laughs> <laughs> In my life, there have been three videos I've filmed where I stopped recording and I've heard, Duh. and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I cannot believe it. I think we all have PTSD <laughs> from that sound. <laughs> Alright gang, we have finished our little uh, speech session. Well, how do you think it went? Was it alright? It went really good. You were really good at winging speeches, taking people's stories for questions and turning it into something really valuable. So well done. Oh, thanks. I didn't pay him to say that. Oh, he did. How did you think he did pay him. He paid him a lot of money. <laughs> paid him in... Um, actually, no, it did. It, it went really well. It was a nice little fireside chat vibe. Um, the, the audience was really cool, like all switched on creators. Um, and it was just a little, it was a wholesome evening. And then Ali did book signing for like hours, um, which was wonderful because it meant he got through everybody, which is really nice. Yeah, man. We gave away a hundred books, signed them, answered loads of questions from people doing the creator stuff. And now we are in kebab addiction. <laughs> And we've just ordered a mixed grill and a doner kebab. And what did you get, Bob? A chicken wrap. A chicken wrap, which we're gonna munch. This is the thing, like, again, you know, seven figure business, like New York Times bestseller. Ultimately, we're just like hanging out with the team and having a cheeky kebab. Like, that's what it, that's what it comes down to in the, at the end of the day, right? Right, guys? That's it, that's it. Can't you just gotta, kebab. you just gotta chop wood and carry water. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I need, I need a testimonial about the event from you guys. It was absolutely Good. amazing. Thank you for coming. Great vid wisdom shared and just great fun. Great <laughs> event. Abdal is my idol. <laughs> yeah, great event. And She's finishing great. the night in <laughs> Borrowed well Kebab Shop. Kebab. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a well deserved oh, yeah, kebab. Oh, yeah, I thought, what was 2024 being healthy? <laughs> hey, I want gym today. Yeah. <laughs> gains, 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 gains. Bye, Bye, Bye Bob. Bye. You'll see Ali again on the Credit Space events. <laughs> <laughs>